Hello and welcome back to the main menu. Yes, well, it's the Midwest mainline, but uh, there has been another update. So this is for the benefit of Urban Games. Should they be watching? The build is down there in the corner. You'll also notice things have changed around on the main menu. Yes, it no longer looks like the first one. Everything's shifted to the other side. When I first booted this up, loaded it, pressed play, I was a, I was a little taken back. I wasn't used to that. Several thousand hours in the uh, with the menu all looking very similar. Uh, caught me off guard, that one. Anyhow, should we get into the game? Here we are then, back at our bus stop in Minneapolis that's heading off to Bloomington. Very busy, isn't it? Absolutely. We have money in the bank, that's nice. Except most of that is loan still. What are we doing today? We've got a plan today, haven't we? First off, I've got to show you what the update actually did. It might not do it yet. We'll come over here. There we go. Some cargo items are lost because station is overloaded. So the station is full. That's pretty much what that means. And if we go into the uh, stations menu here, you can see it starting to turn to very poor. Yeah, I'm not sure the consequences on it, whether it's just they vanish completely. And, and that's all you can do about it, or whether the uh, St. Cloud Quarry here will get rather grumpy with us. Now, another thing I noticed, I, I had to check the update didn't break the save game. Thankfully not. This says 90% uh, transported. So, yes, that's that's accurate because we we can only really ship 200 of the 400 possible. But one thing that uh, struck me as a little interesting was the fact that I believe it's not actually producing 400 it's producing 200 i'm not sure on that but uh, if we go to our line uh, statistics here it won't really become apparent just yet we are shipping 187 so this number lines up about right doesn't it it's about 91 percent so far so good but if we put more trucks on here to which we should so let's do that Let's, uh, let's put another truck on. Uh, you. We'll, we'll go over here so we can see it coming out. Configure vehicle and duplicate you. So he's coming out there. Brilliant. So we've added another vehicle on. I want to get that closer. That, that couldn't be much closer, could it? 198. But what about if we uh, actually take it over the top? What will happen? Will we run the, the, the station dry? And that would mean it's actually producing 200. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. So it is kind of dependent on what its maximum supply can be. Now, if we go over to... We'll come back to this in a second. Our money's running low. Oh, wait a second. Where is this train? It's not running that low, is it? Yeah, well, we want to have these uh, both run a couple of times, don't we? This one's got about 4 million on the back of it, almost. So that's going to head in there. We'll probably let these two trains, because I want to double head this one today, but not with a loan. I mean, we could do it with a loan, but we've got 16 million out already. A little over half of what the maximum is. Oh, what's going on there? These have got little buttons now, and I can hear clicking sounds. Okay, they've added, added a few more touches to it. It's always being tweaked. And there might be an update that comes on that completely breaks this, as they may change the balance of the game or how things work. As for now... This is, this is how it's working. So if we go down to this station, there we go. This one is also overloading. It's also too short for our double-headed trains. The one thing we could do, since we've got a bit of cash, is extend these and see what that does. We're going to take this all the way back to there because I want to extend this to two tracks worth, two blocks. I don't know what you'd call them. Blocks, maybe. Sections. Track sections. I do hope they'd bring uh, curved stations back. That would be lovely. Because I would like that just to curve out at the end. It would look lovely. Not a big deal. We'll deal with it. Let's get that in there. And let's get that in there. I don't think that's going to uh, increase. Oh, no. You don't want to just keep building it. Because <laughs> you just build it all the way along there. Maybe we'll try that at some point in the future. Anyhow, get back to building your track back. Otherwise, they're going to be grumpy. Go up there. Uh, we don't mind scrubbing a bit of speed off. That's fine. Everybody's happy. Let's hit play. He's going to pick up a bunch from here, and that should take the exclamation mark away. And there we go. It's blue already. So that's solved that. 
I guess that limits limits how much cargo or is actually sitting here waiting and it will just vanish if there's too much there so it, uh, you want to keep your stations nice and blue in this bit I guess that bit's okay but you will lose some of your cargo not a big deal if uh, you can't ship it anyway because it doesn't seem to have a detrimental effect on on how much these guys will actually produce we've added another a vehicle on here this one's full Perhaps we can do something similar here. If we go into configure. In fact, we don't need this, do we? That's not needed. Get rid of that. And we'll extend the cargo platform just there. There we go. Now it's stopped complaining because it can store a little bit more. And we'll get to see whether this is producing 400 or whether it's the 200. What are we taking now? Only 133. Not sure why that is. It might be recalculating everything. Because that is drastic. And not very accurate. So there may be some new calculations. On just how it shows this figure. Which could have repercussions, couldn't it? On the rest of your network. We're going to have to keep an eye on this update, guys. It, uh, it could uh, undo everything I just did. Oh dear. Four episodes. That, that's, that's what you just got to deal with when you've got pre-release and it's technically a beta so one of the reasons I didn't want to get into a big build just in case everything broke oh should we turn off the uh, we don't want to see money going out we I don't mind hearing it come in but uh, watching it vanish from my pockets is not good let's see how this rate uh, steadies out it should be okay I'm gonna say well we could fast forward oh look we're nearly into 1905 want to go and keep an eye on uh, well, as soon as we've got like gonna tick into six and a half million I would like to double head that other train with money we earned so what's the, what's going on here this isn't changing a little worrying it might change at the end of the year go on and change we were definitely taking more than 133 surely are you gonna update it's not updating is it am I looking at the right one because we were close to a hundred and no we were were close to the 200 which is what we need to be shipping. It still says 92% here. Something isn't mathing up, right? Is it because I changed this, perhaps? It, it threw off the math a little bit. Did we dare add another one on? Maybe adding another one on will, will boost that figure or update it or something. Let's do it. Let's add another one on. It did change it. Okay. Maybe this is uh, a little different now. This looks about right. We want to be taking about... No, that doesn't look right, does it? we want to be taking 400 oh no but we don't have them both double headed yet that's fine that's fine you, you're getting confused you're getting confused where's our trains is that the big one no that's the little one okay so when he comes back what we're going to do is we're going to pull him once he's uh past the depot we could have another here's an idea how about we only ever have one depot train depot not needed, you can have as many as you want. But doing that means that everything should connect to the main line and be accessible to this depot. I mean, there's usually more than one depot on a train network. But it, it could be a little bit interesting, couldn't it? Can we uh, can we get it up there? We can. There we go. We can put a couple of two-way signals blocking off the uh, main line there. Or the branch line. We may need to actually... No, leave it alone. We may need to uh, double track that later on as we get more trains. Okay, so this is what we're interested in. I'm going to put it on uh, turbo. This this train this time is going to head to the depot. So let's uh, send him to the depot so we can build it. As we have four and a half million, roughly, he's going to drop off another nearly four million. That is something I wanted to show you. Let's let's just pause this a second. Uh, there is a feature you can replace these trains and modify them while they're on the track if we go to configure vehicle we could do it this way uh, replace selected vehicle and if we build the consist we're about to build which is two locos and 16 flat cars with side stakes uh, which is 190 something 196 192 192 it would cost us 8.36 million to do it this way because it's going to replace the vehicle we have there there's no way to lock the current vehicle. 
However, once this gets into the depot, you'll see it's only going to cost us six and a half million because we retain this train that's coming in now. Now, hopefully, we have enough money when he gets in here and he drops off his uh, he drops off his goodies, which he's about to do. This might be perfect timing. Come on, get in there. Right, let's quickly pause it because uh, no, don't pause it. Why? Why would you pause it? Let's edit, we'll pause it when we've got the money, if we get the money, and we could be building this while the other train's doing its stuff. You see, it's only going to cost us two million to uh, to add this train, and then we're going to have cargo, all, this, all the state cars. Now oh, I'm hungry again. There we go, 7.4 million. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect timing. All right, you do that. Now we've got two double-headed trains. We didn't have to take out a loan. We can... Uh, modify which will just add those trains to the next one uh, to the one that was in there and there we go and then we can set this back on grand rapids logging and away you go please don't go this way i'll, I'll turn you around and, and take the track away or put a one-way signal there go that way you're going the wrong way go back to the depot do not sell it there we go right so he's chosen to go down there for whatever reason i'm sure he's he's going to tell me later Right, one way, yes. You're not going that way. Clearly you're not going that way. Configure vehicle. Get back on that that line. There we go. Is it maybe that I've got uh, that one as the first station? That'd be awkward, wouldn't it? I don't know. We could check, couldn't we? Let's have a look. Uh, configure line. No. That is the right station. Whatever. You, you, you made your choices, but now you're forced into going the right way. How do we fit on our new station? Is it a bit better? Do we like kind of... There we go, perfect. Lovely. This is probably forever going to complain. We could maybe stick another... Another wagon on the back, perhaps. Uh, that would do it. Yes, we're, we're in the red because we've got to cover the running costs of all these vehicles every time it ticks over. Okay, while we're in the red, we can't do anything, can we? No, we can't. But I think that will change soon. We've got to do something about the commerce line because the commerce line links to our intercity bus service. I thought this might happen and there's getting a bit of a backlog. I only think we need one bus though and that will be enough for us. But we're going to have to wait, aren't we? Until we've got a bit of a pay packet coming in, which is there. It should just be a big money. No, don't don't put a money icon on top of it. It'll look awful. Right, go around there and give us some money. I mean, we haven't touched... We're, we're still we're still in debt. 16 million. That's fine. I don't mind. I really don't, because it's about to, about to change. Now, what we could do next... We've got a couple of ideas that uh, we could follow. We could think about hooking this up. Oh, we're running short, aren't we? On delivery. Distracted. We could hook this up and start getting more construction materials over to Grand Rapids, but that is going to cost us a small fortune. What we can do with our network over here is start delivering our... I was going to say biscuits again. Stop it. We could deliver our planks to the tool factory over here, which would then give us the station we're going to be using quite a bit. Because if we go down here... This, this station that we put in here can handle the goods, the construction materials, accepting the, not biscuits, planks, and, and, and delivering the spaceships. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be tur turning biscuits into spaceships. It's not what it is. They're tools, they're tools. It's uh, planks into tools. There we go. Now what I'm hoping is this figure here stays, stays in the plus in the positive that'll be great even by the time they have gone around there because that mean we're making a healthy profit right finances they are making per journey or per year even it looks like this is yearly they cost two million to run and we make nearly four million so a profit of around two million that's good going isn't it and we have two of those running so they're our earners they're the ones that are going to allow us to do a little bit of expansion soon i hope this still isn't long enough i might actually make it bigger i don't think it's really needed but uh, if we're thinking about taking another train down here and then heading up to the the tool factory there 
We have the money now. Let's do it. Let's configure this. We'll add another one on the end and we'll add another platform there. That'll just help it uh, pull off where the switch is going to be when we do that. We're now going to head back into Minneapolis and this route. We need to add another vehicle onto this line. It's obviously not doing its, uh, doing its uh, thing, is it? This needs to be expanded. Configure this. We're going to add another vehicle onto here too. More vehicles, more money or something. Where did that spawn? I did hit that, right? Please tell me you didn't come out of here. Why have you come out of here? Well, we're not going to lose too much money by quickly selling it. But what, what's going on there? Why are you coming out of this depot? Let's try that again. Right. You were looking at, in fact, select that depot. Then select this truck. And figure Vic. Oh, no. Then it switches it. What happens? What is with this? Minneapolis Road Depot. If we tick that so they're both selected. There we go. You cannot get this wrong. You cannot get it might just be a glitch hopefully they fix it if it is clone vehicle you, you came out over there didn't you well hopefully that gets fixed yeah i don't want you coming out over there i mean it really matters not it's just slightly frustrating because what we can do get rid of this you're not traveling all that way empty for an eternity we'll just have to go in here and uh, this is ooh. <laughs> minor minor little things like that are frustrating I'm, i can't judge it yet because it's not the finished product just i have to keep reminding myself that don't don't get onto the uh don't get onto the beta and then start judging things that are working progress no doubt right so instead of doing all that business we should just go in here buy as a vehicle yeah this is a terrible way around to do it buy that oh it doesn't say all anymore Oh no, it does say all. That just takes pretty much everything anyway. Goodness me. Did it always take that much? I'm not sure now. My voice went very high. Anyway, you get onto that line. We'll have to colour you and stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Let's colour him up. Uh, you need to be... No, not that way round. There we go, red. Currently, if you've got a lot of uh, depots on your screen, uh, things... Things might go a bit uh, crazy. You'll be playing like some sort of depot lottery. You just like spin the wheel. Where's it coming out? I mean, technically, we could delete this until we need another one, right? And then we're not paying upkeep on it. Yeah, we, we, we have no need for this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then what we can do is, because we need a lot more. We can configure this vehicle and hopefully you come out of there. He still spawns over there randomly. Hopefully, uh, Urban Games are watching and they can they can fix that. I don't know w what it's supposed to do. How's our bus service doing? It's, it's getting a bit bit problematic here. Everybody and and their mother wants to to get on our bus, which is good. I like to have that problem. But is it causing a problem at the station? What does our station layout say? Not yet. Apparently, you can cram them right in there. Our bus probably hasn't made it yet. There's our, there's our balance. This is lovely. What we could do, I did promise to repay some of our loan. We could maybe do a bit of repayment and at least take it down close to our initial starting loan. There we go, guys. Remember that? Six million we initially invested and then another six million on top of that was more like seven total, wasn't it? And, uh, and now we're back down to almost the start alone. That quickly. I mean, we're only in 1907. Obviously, it would have been a bit further. I, I tried, to, tried to calculate it a little bit. But I think we can still do it if we go on here. We can sort of see how many years we've been, been going. So there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we've been going 20 years. So we uh, had 13 years of being paused. That's all right, isn't it? It says it up the top, you burk. 20 years. It says it there. That's the time scale. You muppet. All right. Just look up there instead of counting 20, 20 bars. So here we go. We could technically, here's another thing. If you wanted to, you could speed the date back up until you matched uh, where you should be. But it matters not. This is, this is just to show you guys how to get started, really. So here we are then. This this bus service is not going to do much. It, it, it it's just 
passing people around, taking the odd person to work and stuff. The roads are not overly busy, are they? Just a few people driving around in their cars. I mean, it's early days yet. Cars are not a not a mainstay, are they, of the of the general public at this point in history? The houses look wonderful, though. How's our bus doing? I think you you might need a few more, or at least one. Maybe, maybe. How are we doing over here? We could maybe also send another bus over here. Yes, add another bus on this line. Configure vehicles. Just one. Add that. It's going to come from that depot over there, but we don't mind that. And then we'll add another one on here. Because we've only got four on there. That should be fine. Right, add another one on there. I'm hoping what that will do is only see the odd person here and there. Because the, the industry run, it's doing fine. It's making us profit. And, and it's just keeping things nice and steady. If we go to the line manager, you'll see that we are making a profit. It's doing its job. Not quite as much a profit as the commercial line, but that's obviously part of a connection to this line here, which is, it is making us good money now. Uh, if we organize these, there's our big earner at the top, the freight. Then we've got the stone haulage, obviously. Ah, the rate's back up. There we go, guys. 196. Let's add another one on there, shall we? Because we want it to be at or slightly over 200. I don't mind the odd vehicle running light. That's that's completely fine for me. Because you don't want any lull in production, do you? So, let's get another vehicle on there. No, that's two vehicles. One vehicle. There we go. Will that take us over? We're good. 207. Uh, that then... If my theory is correct, that this is only producing 200 rather than 400, that should start emptying this once it gets uh, once it gets going. How's our money doing? We're, we're almost broke again. That's lovely. Ooh, can we squeeze in another truck quickly? What is our rate for our deliveries? 125. And what is Mona Min Monopolis? Minneapolis doing? Uh, 112. We're not actually meeting demand, even though our line says we're technically... We've technically technically got the throughput. Get your words out. It's not actually meeting demand. So we are going to need another truck and slightly run it over a little further. Get on there. Just got enough money. You do notice now, though, that given that we've got all these lines running, as we plummet into debt, that it is ticking up, though, at the same time as, as the little payments come in. I do like trucks for that. Bus service, in, intercity bus services, not intercity, uh, intracity. I do like that. And now it's a case of waiting for uh, a, one of our money trains to turn up. And he's just there. Perfect timing. It's almost like we planned it that way, which we did. So what have we got to think about doing? I thought about adding a passenger service, the Grand Rapids, and possibly a bus service. I mean, people do still want to get around. But we need a slight idea of where our station's going to be. Now, if we look at the usage, having a passenger station bang in the middle of an industrial area is okay because they don't care how much noise is going on because they're making enough themselves. Or are they, though? Let's have a look at emissions. I don't think they are, are they? Technically. No, it's just our... Wow, that, that's noisy. That is super noisy. That's fine. Current, though. Oh, peaceful. Ooh, it's, it's a bit busy down there. It's all the road vehicles from, from the public. Look at you all making noise. So yeah, you see, the only things affected by emissions are the ones highlighted or darkened here, the residents. So we could quite easily stick a big train station down there, which will be our, our first passenger run has to be from Grand Rapids all the way to Minneapolis. It's going to be a monster, but it should also be an earner. Could we, could we stick a bus service in now? I feel like we'd like to get maybe this bit it would, would certainly work, right? And we can think about where this road's going to go. Where would you go? You'd have to go up here, wouldn't you? Past this building. Like that. And if we... Can we delete this? I'm going to pause it a second because I don't want them to uh, do any building. If we send a road up there... That should segment that section off. That gives us a nice little area to work with. If we're thinking about having our station run past here, what we can do is, is build us the bus depot, uh, bus station, because it's not going to cost us too much. 
to have it sit there and we can do the, the through road, right? This at sort of that angle. I mean, the only thing that I feel is a bit of a shame with bus stations and stuff is they won't build like either end. Shops should build, be able to build on there, right? Definitely. Shops and, and industries, possibly not people. People, yeah, build people on there. That's, that's what it meant. Residential, configure this. Let's, uh, let's have a through road, okay? So far, so good. Well, you've made a station, I'm proud of you. Get in there, connect that up to here. I mean, we could make it go out a little bit at an angle. No, just, just put it in. It's fine as it is. Put it in. It was mentioned in the comments that uh, someone else didn't like this. It made them uncomfortable. Yeah, there's no need. I, I do wish they would line up correctly. This road with this road. I'm, I don't know what's going on there. It's not this road, you see. If you uh, extend it, it's not that road. So perhaps modding or a few tweaks will balance that out better. There's probably a good reason for it doing that, but I would like to not see them do a little bit of crazy, crazy turning. I don't think it's too bad, actually. I think they do kind of glide around there, but it's unnecessary slow down. There we go. They're driving through. How fast did he drive through there? Did he just pull into the bus stop? What are you doing? You're whistling away as you do a hand, handbrake turn. It wasn't a handbrake turn, was it? You're just doing it. You're just turning around. Right, you. You're not doing that once we've got our bus service running. That's, that's rude and, and illegal. We're going to bring in some laws. Right, should we get a bus service? Getting people moving around here in preparation for eventually having the train service. Because if the buses are already there, it's a lot quicker when they we're calculating their routes because they already know about the bus. That's the way I see it anyway. Should we bring up the layers then and see what sort of bus this is going to be if we're heading that way? Probably commercial... It's, it's going to be more of a loop, isn't it? It might work as well, given how this is laid out. I don't know. In fact, it might be the commercial that goes up that way. Just, just click on it. We could have industry pass here, and then commercial can do that sort of thing, couldn't it? Down there. We could head round the back here and help them finish off this section of road. Uh, yes. If we connect that up, that's fine. All right, let's get some bus stops down. We have money and it's steadily coming in as well. Well, that's good. This is definitely town center, isn't it? Or residential center. Town center would be more over here where the uh, all the commerce is. And our station, train station is going to be up there. So it goes our money earners. Our train station is going to be up there. If we start from here, we'll know where we're going. Let's put one here. We're going that way round. And then we can drop down here. It covers a bit of commerce and industry. And then a couple of blocks. We'll head into there. Then we can head and do a bit of a loop around here. Which may or may not fill out. Through there. Then we can head. This is perfect, isn't it? Through there. And then we'll have bus stops either side heading back up. And we can head up this way then. Take a few people that way. That should be fine. We're technically taking people from their homes to their work or eventually to uh, the rest of Minnesota here. Uh, we won't bother with the commerce just yet, I don't think. We'll leave that. We'll just get this bus. Oh, I'm a bit worried now about putting another depot in, so we're going to end up playing the depot lottery. Spin the wheel. I don't know. Just put it in. I don't want to take them all the way from over there either. Right. Get it in. I'm sure it'll be fixed. I'm sure it'll be fixed. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Get in here. All right. There will do. Hidden by trees. Let's get us some buses on that line, shall we? Uh, where's the Mac? I'm not saying it. There's the Mac. Uh, how many? Five. Should do us to get started. By five. It's going to cost us a small fortune. It's not really, is it? Let's... I didn't have to click this. If none of this is selected, it is classed as all. So if you go and colour them... What was that? Industry, right? You'll see it does it to all. We might as well put the maintenance up to mediocre to start with. And, and then we'll set them on a line we have not created because all you did was put bus stops in. Good job. Right. We might as well have this as the main bus stop. And we're not having it that colour. It is yellow. Have that as the main bus stop. Then we'll swing around here like so. There we go. We'll make a little, little bus route here. Now, the way that this uh, Grand Rapids is set out, it does seem to lean towards a 
A tram service at some point heading straight down the middle, even like this, might work as a tram service. I've seen them do something similar. Uh, you kind of want them just going up and down though, if possible. But that'll do, wouldn't it? That'll do. I like that. Where's our, where's our bunch of buses? You all get onto, can't see it yet, line one that we need to name. Oh, it was right in the line manager. Get in there. So this is Grand Rapids. Yep, Grand Rapids. I don't know what that is. Grand Rapids, industrial line, right? Yes, that's what we did. It's yellow, of course it is. It's your own naming and colouring scheme and you, you forgot how to do it. That's our buses. Will people... Well, there we go. There's the answer to that. It will take a little while for that to make money. We have money in the bank. Should we check on the state of things over here? Make sure that production hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. And these two trains are taking 97% of what they're producing, which is absolutely perfect. One thing we do need to check on, they seem to be consuming it all as well. They're not complaining about that. You see, we're only level one. The reason being is we have another sawmill. Oh, another sawmill, another forest over here that we can bring in. And that's the only way this is going to level up. No, no, that, that's not true. Is it? No. All we've got to do is fulfill half of it fully, which means shipment and transportation. But all these, once all these three are full, we kick into there, which, which will mean it's worth firing up the second forest there. I don't know whether you could just take it from the forest anyway. I think it might confuse matters if you overburden this with two forests, similar to what's going on here. Because, like, we, we're not going to do the 400, are we, until we connect it up. And how does it look now? Well, yes, we've got this down, you see. Our, our rate on our line is 207. Uh-oh. Ah, there's a thing we haven't seen yet. Exhausted, <laughs> not too old. Yeah, the poor guy hasn't had a break since we hired him. Not the sort of practices I recommend as a business owner. Don't do that. Let them have a break. At least go home would be nice. <laughs> These guys don't. They're just like, yep. What's your shift? Eternity. Great. <laughs> well, anyway, distracted. Uh, this is, is definitely the case, isn't it? This is only producing at, at this figure here, 200 even though it says the, the maximum production possible is 400. I would kind of like this to match what it's actually doing, because it's definitely not doing 400. Definitely not, because we are, we are we're slowly running out of materials. Not by much, it will be fine running like that. In fact, that's almost perfect, isn't it? Because it's not filling up the, the station there. Uh, how are you doing? You've only got three or six. We, we might have overdone it a bit. Then, then again, delivery into town, I don't mind them running short at all. I'd rather pay a little bit extra to make sure that uh, uh, our cities are, are kept close. You see that? Even though we're running out of orders because of this whole distance and the, the extra travelling, that could mean we've got another issue though, couldn't it? Uh, with industry not, not behaving. Well, not behaving is the wrong word. Industry, uh, what would be a better word? Industry expanding beyond our our delivery network's reach no we're good we're good we're good it could also mean that uh, minneapolis might have changed its population which could mean as soon as a an industry builds it's obviously not being serviced until the orders go all the way back so that's a possibility as well what was we doing i got distracted yes we had old vehicles now we've got a bit of money to play with all i like to do is really keep them at moderate but not when i started out now that we've got a bit of a bank balance flowing we can bring up this uh the line vehicle statistics line statistics resizable window that's nice and you'll see that most of them are on zero percent because we've been just letting them run without actually maintaining them some of them are on very good such as these 99 percent and i believe we put those on 25 yes that high however the rest of them, I would like to just get everything up to the best possible. I mean, really, I don't think it matters. I don't know what it affects beyond emissions. What does our context help say? The vehicle, oh, ooh, look at, look, multi -vehicle, multiple vehicles are, are terrible. The vehicle's overview shows detailed information about all vehicles. Various values such as condition, age, or annual yield are displayed. 
Vehicles with higher maintenance levels cause fewer emissions but higher maintenance costs. Well, if it is just emissions, then anything outside of a city matters not, right? If you're avoiding, it's only the ones that... So it would be, it would be this. This can't be this. We'd have to do that. That's a lot of micromanaging. We could do it. We could just stick these on, say, configure, configure vehicles. That's all 12 vehicles. We can stick this up to very high. We'll see it all change up in here. Then every time it gets to the stop, it will... Yeah, yeah, you, you, I've just done you. I've just done you. You're going to be maintained. We should see all the construction delivery vehicles that are running okay. Most of them are full. I'm hoping to see these change. Oh, look at our money. Should we, uh, should we do something cool and uh, pay off down to there? I don't want to pay it all off because I want to expand in the next episode. There was a lot of changes, guys. I had more planned than that, but we should visit what possibly could trip us over it looks like nothing is except for the the station mechanic has been tweaked perhaps uh, anyway yes we we'll repay it there we go in fact how much do we have there we go we're under one million under our initial starting uh, loan i mean it's only one percent interest it's not really a loan is it that's that's just like all right just give me a bit of money each month and uh, here's several million it doesn't really tell you about uh i mean if this is if this is all it is and it just changes the emissions then so be it right notice it's bad now when you stick it on very high it will push it all the way up to 100 percent. but what i was going to say is since if that, i mean if you were really 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 struggling on money maybe on a hard mode playthrough you'd have to be very careful how you did this but since we're playing medium if we go to the vehicle line and click on all here have all 58 vehicles we can put them all on very high get this all up to uh here it goes we'll fast forward it get these all up to mint condition as it were i would like to not have this one play that a second configure these vehicles i'd like you to run in fact i'd like you to run on normal no oh, that's a toughie isn't it because i mean 25% of 2 million is a lot of money each year. We'll, we'll keep it like that for now. The rest of these vehicles, I would say it's okay to run them at 25%. Okay, so that, let's let's get rid of these. We'll configure these vehicles and we'll change these to high. Get our money back there. There we go. Lovely. The rest of them will wait. Well, what about our bus services? They're running very high. They're running at, oh, not that, 100%. Oh, what did that say? Maintenance set keep the vehicle at very good condition so this will keep them permanently at very good condition but mediocre i believe will be fine but i let them get all terrible so i will bump them all up right it's no big deal and we can afford it as well now that we've adjusted the train the train was a bit of a killer if you're uh, if you're bumping that up to 50 percent right come on all get up to very good please there we go i've let time play and that's good enough for me it's not much that's gone by, but you've got to wait for each stop that they go to for them to be maintained. I think that's how it works. I don't know. It could be wrong. Let's change everything back to uh, high. Is that all vehicles? No, that's just one line. All vehicles high. Apply that, except for uh, our login freight. Could we put you at... Ooh, did, I, did we decide? Put you on normal. We don't really care about your emissions. If it's only emissions, however, there's one thing I'd be interested to see. If it's rating change, like it's pulling power and it's uh, and it's tractive effort, which would which would adjust this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether it will change that. It's a little bit worrying, isn't it? I mean, it, it's doing all right at the moment. Okay, ignore that. So there we go. There we go. That, that's a bit of a been a bit of a juggly around hasn't it with uh with balancing our networks a little bit we are doing really good with this this is this is slowly dropping however that only, the way we're lined up, aligned with this means that only the odd truck might run with let's say four or five instead of a full load maybe i mean it's, it's perfect i like that this is is doing okay now i don't mind trucks running like one short i'd rather that 
be the case, then these start to moan. See that uh, Minneapolis is balanced now. Our buses are running okay. We're, we're doing okay here, except this end. Which is... Yes, we're going to need to... Oh, but now you're coming from all the way over... Th oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, they've done something iffy with our roads. Let's quickly change that before we go. Uh, no, because that's really slow. Maybe that will just... No, that won't affect your your bus there at all. Oh, we're going to have to put another one in and play more lottery. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll do it. Put you there. Maybe we can put it further away. I don't know. Put it up here in the forest. Surely it won't use it then. I don't know why it's doing it though. That's the thing. Right. If we... We've put it over here now. Where's our, where's our bus? Here, you got it selected. Duplicate. Please come, come out of there. Oh, you're beautiful. Good. Right, we've fixed that. We've got it all running. Perhaps they were too close technically because they were connected on the road. I do not know. It's it's a glitch in the matrix. So this uh, this new thing is is I like it. This whole uh, full platform, and it tells you now why why things look like they're disappearing. Technically, they're not. They they can't shove them onto the platform, and they're getting broken and they're falling on the tracks, and, and then the train comes and runs over them, or wildlife runs off with it possibly none of that but that's what we're going with it's our own map and our own story right then guys that's been a productive episode because we've got 6.7 million in the bank to start uh episode five with with some money to play with and we're gonna set up this section of the route from here to here we're gonna get grand rapids it's all works underway we don't need to deliver from here they'll consume it all we need to worry about is run their production line up to this level one so we can't we can't do much beyond that they'll they'll uh, refuse delivery but it's going to be a start right we're going to make money from taking stuff up there and i like that should we take a look down at grand rapids which has got issues at the bus stop you love our buses don't you we're not ending it like that 56 people waiting at miller street is is that cause for concern apparently not you just keep on stacking up on the on the bus stop there why not why not apparently they're okay with that i wouldn't be i'd do something else we need another bus on here don't we oh no where's it going to come from if it doesn't come from out here um, we'll end the episode there oh you're beautiful oh okay it's just a lottery uh two more buses there we go that should do that let's let's see uh Let's sit down here, shall we, in Grand Rapids and watch all of our people. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We are going to sit here and watch the hordes wait to give us money. Look at them. They've all got money in their pockets. I can I can see a bulging. Oh, dear, I don't know where that was going. Good night. Hopefully not many of you watched to the end because that was terrible. When we come back, we'll set up the tour works and, and start thinking about a passenger service from here to Minneapolis. And until then, take care.